She wanna be where it's shining. Right, guys welcome back to another video my name is cody groom i've taken photos like all along this whole place and so it's kind of hard to find at this point a place that i haven't snapped photos of so i found this right here good part is no one parks here so we're gonna snap a couple photos of the e92 real quick and uh see what we can get start with this shot right here get ryan's st in the, in the foreground Woo, that's pretty sick i just put a fresh coat of reload on the car if you're not familiar with reload it's just basically an sio2 sealant so it's shiny right now. It looks good. At least till the end of today. It's cool right now. You can see the uh, headlights. The, uh, everyone always asks me what these are. So they're Bay Optics headlights. And you can see those right now, which is cool. Cause the car's on. Daytime running lights. I hope this person doesn't kill me. Uh, yeah, just stepping on their plants. Whoops. Uh, I'm not really liking this angle. It's okay. Let's go to the back. It sucks though, because right now, the beach is at that point where the sky and the water look almost exactly the same color, so you don't get that cool separation. I mean, you can see when Ryan, when sh Ryan shows you guys, it's just like, it almost blends to one right now. So we got a 7200, which means we're on a tight focal length. It's not gonna be a wide shot. So I'm gonna go do something zoomed in, and then it should pull all the palm trees that are in the back in. So let's try something back here. That's still pretty cool. One of the things I like to do when I'm taking photos is find like an interesting shot, right? It's, like it's, it's, it's really easy to just like put this car anywhere and snap some good photos of it. Cause it looks good. Like, I mean, it's E92 M3, like even stock form, they look great. Um, and if we're by the beach, it's not that hard to come up with a good photo, but coming up with something that's interesting versus taking the photo of the car, if that makes sense. Getting a little bit of the tree in this one. Ah, oh, it's clean. This one's a little more artsy. There's a cool surfing spot over there. Ryan knows about that. You're so funny, <laughs> You guys talking about a stingray over there? Oh man. Actually, you know what would be cool? If you do this shot. So if, if you stay here, grab this shot. Or if you take the car and do this, grab driving around there and I'll grab a roller of it. Oh, okay. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. All right, so Ryan's gonna go ahead and take the 92. Hey, dude, don't cur don't curb my wheels, okay? Don't I don't do know why it. you say that. You say that to me like that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, hold on. Try not to get stung by a stingray dude, while you're okay, driving. You gotta stop. Like, <laughs> you know all the things have been going on, bro. We can't have this. Like, uh, hey, I gotta say, little update. The uh, the luck has turned around slightly. I got one that I really like. Yeah, all right. I got a black Tesla in front of me and a no behind me. That came out pretty sick. I definitely, it's hard because you're like battling this focal length thing. I feel like I'm a little far on some shots, then I'm too close and when, like maybe I should have done it. I just thought I'm doing it all vertical. I should have done it landscape, but so I got some cool shots. Found this little spot. This is, I've been here a bunch of times. We've shot some build episodes here. It's always a cool backdrop. I mean, look over there real quick. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and there's like some houses over there. It's all like, a, it's just a cool backdrop over here. Got the clouds in the sky. I'm gonna try to go against my norm of shooting straight at this when I really want to, but I've done it. I've taken probably 200 photos here. So I'm gonna try to shoot right here with where the M3 is parked right now and see what we get. So, you know, the only thing that's bugging me with my car right now, it's one thing that bugs me about E92. So Ryan, if you show them the car right now. So the rear end, like where the bumper is, the you see the diffuser line? I have these little little pieces that like continue the side skirt. And when you don't have the side, the side skirt and that little piece, the rear end looks like it's up so high on the E92s. And it, the side profile bugs me a little bit. So I might need to throw the side skirts back on, but. For now, we'll shoot it the way it is. Ryan, if you could scoot a little bit to your right for me. There we go. It's actually my left, but you know, it's fine. Whatever, dude, whatever. All right, switch lenses here. We're on the 24 to 70 now. Long story short, if you don't know anything about cameras, 
it just means that it goes 24 millimeters, 70 millimeters, 24 being a wider shot. So here's a 24 in this parking lot. It's gonna be unedited for these ones. There's a 70 and so it means a tighter shot. How do you know all this stuff? I don't, I made it up, <laughs> it's not real. All right, ooh, that looks, so this one is actually, I really like this one. Um, there's this cool color in the sky right now. We have kind of like orange, blue, I don't know colors. <laughs> I'm looking around, uh, what color is that? Okay, I'll get one of the front going back here. Let's see if we can keep that car in the background. Oh yeah, it looks good. So I actually, I actually find shots like this a lot harder than where you have, like when it's just straight out in the open. Cause you, the whole thing is you have to position the car within an area that looks good. Versus like, if I have like a whole bunch of building stuff, I can kind of put something in the foreground of the frame, then it's in the, something's in the background. This right here, I just have to come up with an interesting composition when there's like nothing here. So it's definitely more difficult. I'm gonna move the car right here. We gotta do, we forgot one thing. We forgot one big thing. We gotta pop it, pop it. If you got a sunroof, you gotta flaunt it, right? We ain't got no carbon roof, we got a sunroof. That's right. So here's, here's, I'm gonna flip between two photos right now, changing heights. So same shot, just different heights and uh, makes a huge difference to how your photo looks. So I'm pointing directly into the lights right now. So I'm getting a nice, nice little flare around one of the lights. Should we, pull, should we pull up on the sand? Should we do it? I feel like you should. Yeah. Is it a plaid or is this, is this a plaid? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Oh, it is a plaid. All right, this is gonna be the last part. I said I wasn't gonna pull it up on the beach, but I did. So just grab one quick shot of it. Oh, I have to edit on all these people. All right, last one. Oh, I gotta get that. So, all right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Hope you guys liked the photos. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta get them surfing. My camera didn't focus, it didn't go. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Got some good photos of the E92. I haven't really shot it too much lately, so it's nice to get out here, get it by the beach and shoot it. But uh, until next time, see you guys later. I'm gonna go home.